Okay, so I've just been swimming. I've been going to Jontian for a swim in the beach on the sea. And uh, it's not the cleanest beach I've ever seen. Well, it's actually the dirtiest beach I've ever seen. But today I went down there and there's these two fat girls and they were sh actually shitting in the water. And when people were swimming around and not even going up the other end where there's no one swimming. And I was surrounded by shit, so I thought, oh, nah. I went to Pattaya, and John Tien's supposed to be cleaner than Pattaya, and I was thinking, if this is cleaner, cleaner than Pattaya, then Pattaya is going to be so dirty, I'm not even going to go in. Anyway, I got to Pattaya, opposite Soy Central Road, just stopped almost opposite the Hilton. Do you know, it was, it was quite pleasant. It, I wouldn't say it was clean, but it was cleanish. There was hardly any people there, the, the sea wasn't too rough. It was quite relaxing swim. Not that I relax when I swim. I, there's quite a strong current going towards going towards Bangkok, north northerly current. So what I do, I swim that way because I only use my hands when I swim. I've got arthritis in my knees, and I only use my arms. And I do sort of a breast stroke, breast breast stroke, with no without using my legs. And then against the current, I walk back. And I walk. Sometimes I walk backwards, sometimes I walk forwards against the current. Uh, I did that for an, over an hour. All my knees where I have arthritis, they're really clicking now. But I'm trying to build up the muscles around them so basically I don't need the bone so much. That's the idea. Also I'm trying to do as much exercise as possible to burn any excess sugar for my diabetes. Anyway, back to the beach. Um, I was pleasant, pleasantly surprised that it was, I'm not going to call it clean, but it wasn't disgusting like John Tien. Um, I've swam, I lived in Cyprus for three years, <coughs> and the beach on Cyprus, admit, admittedly it's in the Mediterranean, you can't, beat, you can't beat this all year round, you can swim in Cyprus. Um, I went down the south of France. I had a house in France for four years. I didn't live there for four years, but I had a house in France. And I went down the south of France. Nice beach, but it was so hot. Oh, it was hotter than it ever gets in Thailand, this for sure. I think I must have gone really hot. And it was so hot, but I went for a swim, only to cool down, but oh, it was hot. And England. I live near Brighton, Brighton Beach and whatever. It's a nice beach, but it's cold. I mean, the water today in Pattaya was getting on for 30 degrees, but Brighton and Little Hampton Beach, Little Hampton Beach near, near Brighton, that's a nice beach in the summer. I mean, it's really busy in the summer. And of course I, I swim, I don't, I can put up with too, too hot or too cold. I don't mind it cold. Uh, I've actually swum in the beach when it's been like, near zero this for sure <laughs> it didn't bother me but that was over 20 years ago so uh brighton beach i find a bit too it's all pebbles but once you're in it's okay but you've got to keep swimming and i used to live in yorkshire because my father was in the RAF and we went every we went everywhere where there's a beach yorkshire have bridlington scarborough i mean scarborough is a lovely beach and Filey and Whitby and all around there. Whitby wasn't so good because that's a bit commercial, but uh, Scarp, Scarborough Beach, oh. In the summer, they got the council workers, they clean it five o'clock every morning in the summer. And it is so clean. I mean, that's what you call clean. Cyprus is what you call clean. Patia Beach, cleaner than it has been. <laughs> I'll give them that. Jontian Beach, oh. Jontian Beach is a cesspool. I think until they clean that up, I will be swimming Pattaya because I like to swim. I like to swim because it's it sort of keeps the weight the weight off. I can walk. I can't run, but I can walk because I'm quite heavy. I'm around the hundred kilo mark. I'm too heavy to run. I can walk, but my knees click a lot when I'm walking, and I got gout in my feet. And but when I'm in the sea, it takes a little bit of weight off it. But I'm still using a lot of pressure. So yeah. There's only Jontian versus Pattaya. You can't, you can't have Pattaya versus Cyprus or South of France. <laughs> no, 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 no. There is no comparison. But uh, 
Patio versus Jontin Beach? There is a comparison there. Patio versus anywhere else in the world. Uh, anywhere else that I've been to, because I can't, I mean, I can't say places I haven't been to, but Patio versus anywhere else in the world that I've been to, it doesn't hold a candle to it. I'll give you an example. This key, I, I, these keys, half hour ago, half hour they've been, I've just come back from the beach, quick shower, and they've gone rusty in half an hour. Um, it could be the bad quality of the, of the metal, but they haven't been doing that at Jontian, even that one, and that's a good quality key. Even that one, what I do before I put this key into the motorbike, the motorbike key, I always wipe it really dry. But to say the water is corrosive would be under would be would be saying uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't like to speak bad. I'm trying not to speak bad about anything in Thailand. But I think when I when I go swimming with this key in Cyprus, it comes out shiny. Um, Cyprus, no compare. I used to live in Limassol in Cyprus, and the beaches around there, obviously, we went around a bit because I cycled quite often. And yep, those good old days. Uh, I don't believe you can beat Cyprus for beaches. If it's swimming you want, I mean, you can have uh, 30 meters deep, and you will see, you will see, you will still see the fish and the shells on the ground on the sand through 30 meter of water. It is so clean and clear there. Uh, here, you're standing in the sea, you can't see your belly button, this for sure. <laughs> yeah, but it was cleaner than it normally is. I still wouldn't want to drink it. it I, I did get a little mouthful and it, it's like drinking acid. It stings, it stings, it stings when you drink it. You can't, I can't spit it out fast enough, but I would I wouldn't let kids swim in there but that's only my opinion if they are actually swimming say it's, they've gone out to swim and they take a they get a wave because it's not that calm I think you could drown quite easily because the way when you get it in your mouth you would start coughing immediately well I do maybe kids have a stronger constitution than me with the water but it's not good it's okay I like to swim, so I have to swim there. And swimming pools, I don't go on that much. I used to swim in the village, in the lakes, until I see a bloody great big snake swimming too. I stopped then, because I hear that some people get bitten by the snakes and they die. So that was the last of that. So I just like to swim. I can swim in the pools, but they're too small for me. But I had, uh, I swam opposite Central Road in Patia Beach. There's, there's a big piece what's cordoned off with the white and red boys. There was me and two other people swimming there. And I had the whole beach to myself, more or less, which was okay. And it wasn't too bad. It was the cleanest I've ever seen it. So, and that is saying a lot. I've seen, I've seen Patio Beach when you look at it and you go, ooh, I don't want to go in there. Okay, thanks for watching, old man Thailand. Highland Gardens, shall I say? It's still going, isn't it? I can't see.